You know what I'd love to hear, Debbie, is how, what you thought about Michelle Obama's speech last night and how that affected women and what you think about the female vote and how that's going to go. Well, the first thing that I want to say is that I watched that as a political spouse. And I actually blogged about it this morning because, you know, as a political spouse, you know how hard it is. If, I think I remember what it was like for Michelle Obama four years ago, how everybody was criticizing her, how careful you have to be, how everybody's analyzing her clothes and her hair and how she looks. And, and, and she's an intelligent, professional woman who's, by the way, half of us think she shouldn't be. You know, it's what, right. what is the role of the political spouse these days? And, and she but knows. She's damned if she doesn't. If she works two days a week, it's not enough. If she doesn't, if she works five days a week, it's too much. It's, real, it's a real problem being a political spouse, especially as you get a professional woman in the political spouse role. That's mm -hmm. Who's Harvard Law educated. That's correct. And I think four years ago, this was a woman who was very candid last night about how she felt, right. very right. ambiguous about what this was going to do to her family and what was it going to do to her life. Uh, it, so, and you, you care about your husband, you want your husband to win, you accept the fact that your spouse is going to be working hard, you never know, right. uh, you know what's going to happen. She hit a home run. But Last, there, I agree with you, but there were moments that I thought she really shown was shining through and the one was when she talked about him coming to dinner we all know he tries to have dinner but sitting down and they're all worried about the bills mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. they said she said oh well we're you know we think oh my gosh what about this bill what about that bill but he just keeps being steady and strong and that image I think was one that really helped um, make her case I, it's, I, I must say that I am very impressed with the way that Barack Obama has made having dinner with his children <laughs> something very constant I love my husband, but, uh, <laughs> but he ain't home can for dinner. I tell you how many, I, I don't mean to say this in any kind of negative way because I love him and you all know how much my husband loves me. He has never been there <laughs> at any event where I've gotten an award or where it's almost like I guarantee you if it's something that matters to me, there will be a crisis. And it, Barack Obama has made it very clear that his family matters. It remains a priority. He may go home and leave. And I think she helped portray that story, but also touched on a lot of other things. Does that resonate with voters, you think, though? I think her speech last night resonated because of the depth of what she talked yeah. about. She humanized him. She talked about him as the family man. She also touched upon issues. You know, she's a bright woman. It's, sure. When you're a political yes. spouse, yeah. you are allowed to care and understand <laughs> right. and know what those issues are, although I think at times this country is schizophrenic about what they want right. sure. in the political spouse. Do you want and, the baking cookies right. or do you want the health care, right? It's right. very, and I think she did, a, I just think she did a great job and hit a home run. And as a political spouse, you're nervous for her. You know what's at stake. B